All right. Hello, everyone. So uh, yesterday, there were quite a few comments that I saw that talked about this Wing Beat Eagle being an insane amount of damage output. And I still stand by what I said after doing all of the math to check out what you guys were saying. But I will acknowledge that her damage output is actually insane. The problem is that you still cannot get to it very easily. So uh, I want to talk about a lot of things, as you can see from that scroll up. Let's start off with the first one, just a simple statement by Yek from Nimbus Help. If you want to assume 3 hits plus 1 tail on every single time you roll this uh, Ego, then that is roughly going to do about 160 plus-ish damage, depending on and, uh, a lot of things. Affinity, whatever other damage output stuff you got, offense levels, uh, fragilities. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of different stuff that will affect the damage, but essentially you'll get around there. And if you can hit all of the hits, or even more than five coins pretty much if you hit five coins or higher you'll easily get like rip space levels of damage quick suppression levels of damage and you can even beat most of them if you can get every single coin so i just did the math to go and see what are the odds of that happening and turns out it's really bad right so how this column thing works here is i'm assuming you're using 45 sp before you pop this ego you spend 25 sp to cast this ego and 1 SP is 1% chance to roll extra hits. This is actually how it works, by the way. Every 1 SP you get is plus 1%. So at 0, you get 50% chance to roll hits. When you get 45 SP, you just plus 45 to your 50% and then you get 95%. That's how you get your 95% chance to roll hits at 45 SP. So let's talk about this one, where in the worst case scenario, let's say you're the ultra unlucky boy, you lose 2 SP every single time you hit with this thing. So every time you roll, you will lose 2 SP. So everything is in 2s. How this works is that after the first coin, all right, this is this SP here. It's the SP before you hit with this coin. So before you hit, you're at 20 SP. You hit, since it's the first coin, nothing happens. So you're still at 20. Now, before the, you hit the second coin, you will hit with this. And that is a 0.49 chance to get your hits. All right, then after you hit with that, you get your reuse, you hit the hits. All right, then we continue. Now you're at 18 SP, you cast this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then this. And to hit all seven hits, it is a 5% chance, pretty much. To hit six hits is 8%, to hit five hits is 14%. 14% should be what you're aiming for, pretty much. Because if you get five coins, with all that fragility you're applying, you should usually out damage a rip space or a dither because those don't really apply any fragilities or anything but this ego because it specially applies gluttony fragility with every hit and it can potentially roll even higher than five coins it has a lot of extra damage potential compared to those other five costs uh, sorry uh, five coin skills quick suppression as you can see is in the bottom right that's an example of a really strong skill you want to try to get more coins than that most of the time but if you hit five it will be roughly the same except Quick suppression also applies for fragility before it hits. So it's a lot different to calculate that damage and then this damage. But still, if you hit 7, it is pretty damn high and should beat most of the other skill tree nukes in the game. Yep. Right, then this is the best case scenario, 1%. So everything is in ones. And so if you just do all the calculations, it is a 0 0.06, uh, which is a 6% chance to get all 7 hits then 10% and then 15%. Basically like roughly plus one, roughly plus one. Yep. And then the next column is going to be uptie for base Hong Lu Ego not activated. So what is this column and why do I have this here? Why is there a giant X here? Well, that's because I was doing some experimentation and I did the calculation first. And then after that, someone told me that base Hong Lu does not actually work. Base Hong Lu, if you do not know, if you uptie for Minus 2 SP loss efficiency to all allies and minus 2 to amount of SP lost from ego use. To all allies, this will be applied, right? So let's assume that this and this will be applied. Both of them will be applied to all allies. Then what happens is that this ego should not lose you SP anymore because minus 2 and then this thing here is going to be minus 2 SP every time that you roll your hits on the second coin. So by right, this should totally cancel it out. And so that means that you would have this amount of SP because you get minus two to the cost. So you only lose 23 SP, which puts you at 22 SP. And minus two loss efficiency means that you will not lose SP. So everything should remain at 22. That's what I thought. But someone told me none of these work. And because none of these work, this thing here doesn't exist. I did the calculation first and then I found out this doesn't work. All right. So 
this is the ideal situation. If the Honglu ego ever works, your sanity will be at 22. Your odds will increase up to a 10% chance to get all 7 hits. But if not, then what happens? Let's say the efficiency doesn't work, alright? If efficiency doesn't work, then you will be stuck at 10. Sorry, 12 first. But if the minus 2 also doesn't work, then you will be stuck at 10 SP when you reach the final coin. 22 should be the final one you hit. 12 will be the other one if this one, if this bottom line here works. And 10 will be if everything here doesn't work, then you should just be 10 SP at the end. Haven't tested this, but this is the 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 ifs lah, basically. If you go and test it yourself and you find your sanity still become 10 after you use your uptie 4 or base Hong Lu, that means that this ego totally doesn't work. And according to Dusk from the Limbus Help Discord, they say that this is how it's working right now, it just straight up doesn't work at all. Okay, so that is why I crossed this out, but if someone tests it and eventually like gets fixed or something, I will eventually uncross these. Right. So, Dust tested that, and now let's talk about the probability of hitting all 5 coins as hits for a 45 SP character that does not lose SP. The answer is, you take this, square this, and then you get this, which is 0 0.77, 77% chance to roll all hits. So 77% chance to roll all hits versus this is infinitely better, more consistent than whatever this is here. But you will definitely out damage if you can hit the high roll. So if you want to play a gacha game within a gacha game, you can go ahead. And to be fair, if you want to go do some refraction railway speedruns, you might consider actually rerolling for this. Because if you can reroll for this, it's a pretty fast clear because you can do more damage than a quick suppression could ever could. Right. Anyway. Now you've seen how terrible it is, right, to hit the 7 coin, the 6 coin, or the 5 coin. What about if we add Butler Force? Because Butler Force has a very strong passive for this ego. One ally with the least SP hits an enemy with 5 plus sinking. The ally hit heals 3 SP on hit up to 4 times per turn. So the requirement here is make sure enemy has 5 sinking potency. Make sure it has 4 count. Make sure Faust, uh, sorry, not Faust. Make sure uh, Faust has her 4 gloom own. She's in the support bench, and then you need to make sure your Ishmael is the one with the least SP. So that, and also she's the one hitting, right? Then she'll be able to take advantage of the sinking bonus here, and then she will get the SP back. So assuming all those conditions are met, we will get something like this. 20, 23, then 24, because plus 3 minus 2, this is assuming worst case. Then 25, 26, and after that 24 and 22. So that would mean you have a 0.11 chance, which is a 11% chance to get all of these hits, which is significantly better than this. So it's basically double of this and still pretty strong compared to this. So Butler Otis, uh, sorry, Butler Faust actually adds a lot of value to this. You definitely want to try and get that sinking bonus if you can. And of course, this is assuming you are on 2%. If you are on 1%, it will be much better. I didn't bother. And then this is what happens, right? If the base Honglu ego actually works, you will end up with 34 because you do not lose SP at all you become 20% chance to get the 7 hits. I really wish Honglu Ego works, or I maybe the testing done by Dusk and friends were wrong. Uh, if you guys have tested yourself, feel free to go and test. I'm not going to go and test this. I'm just going to trust their testing because they are from the Limbus Help and they're usually very thorough with what they do. All right. So with that in mind, pretty much Butler Faust, if you want to go for the high roll on your wing beat, you definitely want her as your support bench, which unfortunately will remove quite a few Faust options for yourself. You will lose out her Eagles and you will lose out her IDs in exchange for this support passive. But still, getting this is probably very worth it. Yeah. Okay, and then now we have the chart. So if you are just here to see what are the odds, then I'll just skip to this part. You can just skip to this part and then you just see this. So this is a probability distribution, it's a bunch of math. Basically, this chart here shows how likely you are to hit a certain damage number here, calculated using uh, Python. So this is uh, coded by Carmen, so just trust Carmen for the calculations. And then we have a 20% chance here, 20 something percent chance to hit 20. We have a 15% chance to hit a 45, uh, and then so on and so forth. And then finally we have this one. This uh, this is a simulation. I think they did about 10,000 or 100,000 times. So this is what happens when I we did like a, a bunch of tests basically. And this is the probabilities that you get after you've done the simulation. So yeah, this is the average that you will hit. And this chart here shows with gluttony fragility because this ego will apply gluttony fretch so you will get a much higher damage than without the gluttony fretch so you can just look to this table here 
basically you have a high 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 chance of hitting 20 or 45 damage or 81 damage very very high chance and this is of course assuming one times weakness blah 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 if you add other sources then this becomes more and more worth it because the low rolls here might actually out dps a lot of other skills so do take note of that and then of course luck correlates with skill if you hit all seven anyway regardless of the luck uh, regardless of the probability then it doesn't matter what i just said right you have somehow hit this thing over here congratulations you out dps a uh, skill tree very very nice so yeah if you are lucky it doesn't really matter what i just hit so let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of this you can use this ego whenever you want so it's not like skill trees they are skill trees which means you only have one copy of them so you have to keep cycling through all of your skills in order to get your skill tree the potential roll is insane. If you hit all, I told you, you out DPS a lot of other skill trees. You hit 5, you can break even with quite a few skill trees. 6 is already pretty strong. I think 5, you already out DPS some skill trees already. Yeah, you either match or you go higher, pretty much. It's very, very high damage. And then after that, it's also a cheap ego relative to other options. This one, one of the comments said also, I agree. Disadvantages, the probability, I just talked about it. Could be a waste of resources. You straight up just paid a bunch of resources to hit this number here. Unlucky. All right. Then, of course, you also paid SP, so the future use of the uh, ego is also not going to work, pretty much. You cannot, like, 45 SP drop to 20 SP and then you go and try to do it again. It will just have super low probability and I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm going to assume you're always at max SP before you pop this ego. And then, uh, while on the subject of that, I want to talk about Faith. Why is it here? Uh, because I thought Faith actually would help this ego become very funny because it restores your SP after you use the Ego. But what I forgot was that it's next turn start, which means that when you actually use the Ego, you still lose the SP, and then you're still using this chart over here. So it will not become 45 SP instead, immediately for the purposes of Wing Beat. It will still remain at 20 SP. So yeah, this Ego gift does not work. I thought it would be funny, that one's my bad. All right, okay. Now let's talk about what team or ID you might want to use with this. So there are two options. One is you go for the ultra high roll. You go for your gluttony fragility. You go for your slash fragility. All in. Get as much damage output as possible. If you hit, boom, boss is dead. 100%. Right? That's amazing. But realistically, you want to kind of prepare your team with a certain amount of sinking, right? So I think that Mola Ishmael is actually one of the best options for this. Her passive is really good. Because as long as you apply Tremor, which she does, and she applies a shit ton of Tremor count, you should be able to get this permanent sinking refund. And she also generates the pride herself, so and she also has a dodge. So you have a lot of different options. You can solo with her. I think I saw Mizu go and solo the the what do you call it? The that fairy boss that the current event is showing with just Mola Ishmael. And then after that one shot the boss with Wing Beat. Yep. That is a very possible thing you can do with this uh, ID. And because of this passive being so strong, you'll be able to maintain that sinking for your butler files very easily. And if you want, you can even all in on the sinking and then just use the wing beat whenever you want to just trigger a bunch of hits. And then you can use Rhyme Shang to go and charge up more sinking. You can use your Dichi, you can use your butlers, or your butlers as a support bench for Otis, sorry, for Faust. And then after that, use Otis in action, use Linton in action. You have a lot of different options here for sinking Team Kong. It's up to you what you want to use. But yeah, this is a pretty solid team comp i would say if you want to try to go for high roll of the wing beat and of course if you never high roll don't worry your backup plan is still going to be spice bushi sang who will sinking the luge and do even more damage realistically than you just doing the wing beat but you can squeeze some extra damage if you just pop wing beat and then after that you go and pop the sinking the luge that will also work so it's up to you what you want to do here personally i do not like gambling this kind of odds like this is terrible odds for a gamble, so I don't really want to go and set up a whole team just for this one gamble. Although the neurons, when you actually hit, it's going to be amazing. So that one's up to you. Right, so whatever I just talked about here is pretty much my thoughts. She is unlikely to hit really, really high numbers. And this second chart here should show it. You're super likely to get all of these things here compared to over here. But when you get over here, it does feel absolutely amazing. So that's my conclusion, up to you what you want to do with this data. Essentially, I think you, new players just don't bother with this thing, man. Like, it's, it's, it's literally a gamble within a gacha game of gambling and you always have a 95% like chance to roll a hit. So there's a 5% chance to also lose the hit. So I don't really like doing super RNG gameplay. But if you want to speedrun, this is a very good ego for speedrun. So I would say new player, definitely no. Old player, up to you. I don't personally like this kind of gambling 
but this ego art is very very good so i will be sad that it's going away but i will just spark it in the next of Pergis. so i also don't feel anything yep right so that's gonna be it for this video hopefully this answered some questions on what i feel about this uh ego and whether i've done testing or not well there i've done the testing so i personally feel that this ego is just not worth to use the resource for but it high rolls insanely well yep okay that's it thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye